one more kind of report we have done uh, in, in our current project currently we are using the uh, inventory movement reports the inventory movement reports like uh, we have reports for example you know right mb51 do you have idea about uh, yeah. mb51 yeah material document yeah here we can see the movements for example uh, movements we have there we can ha check like what kind of uh, things we have done hmm? see for example for your plant okay hmm. on from june 6 or something like uh, any date and I think recently it was not done anything Let's okay in this meantime for your plant how many 101 means how many goods received was done okay See, for 101, in this period of time, how many movement, uh, how many material documents were created? The same kind of MB51 is the heart for that report. Okay. They have asked mm -hmm. for a movement report, uh, how many transactions were done and all those details. Uh, one kind of report we have done. But the basis is around 90% is the, how we have taken the program of uh, MB51 okay and uh, business is asking for uh, certain additional details of some seven eight fields that fields we have incorporated in the new report mm -hmm. do you know how to see a program of a report a program of a transaction code uh, no maybe okay. it's easy one okay, okay. Yes, yeah uh, go to sc93 and uh, if you give our uh, transaction code MB51 here we will get the program okay, okay. yeah well, we what we have done we have taken this uh, heart of this program and uh, the complete things we have kept like that and what are the modifications what are the new other requirements which were requested by the business uh, we have fulfilled by making some changes now only I have told some three four reports. Uh, for you, you can tell any one or two reports uh, confidently what you have done, what you know, and all. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you told like okay. if I tell tax, they may ask you whatever the tax report I have given to you. Uh, that is not the, the what you call tax code related, related tax. Actually, it is kind of a duty okay. which will be paid to the uh, state government uh, when we are moving from mm -hmm. one place to another place. Hmm? in that mm -hmm. condition okay you can tell like that entry tax i have just used you can tell like uh, one kind of um, mm -hmm. opt charges or uh, mm -hmm. if you know anything in your uh, company where you have worked mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. whatever the report i have given that is the punjab haryana some state related tax on food products mm -hmm. okay like that you can select any okay. kind of duty uh, we have given mm -hmm. that duty as a condition in po Mm -hmm. We have not created a tax code for that. We have created a condition and uh, we have created the condition record because uh, mm -hmm. for which materials and uh, for which plant, how much percentage they mm -hmm. have to pay. Mm -hmm. According to the combination, that condition has come automatically to the PO. Just the report was developed. They want to know how much entry tax mm -hmm. I have paid and certain mm -hmm. period of time and to which plan which vendor i have paid and from which plan to which plant it was transferring the material okay these kind of details they need that's why the report was developed okay okay we have just it's a condition type for example simple you can tell one more a few things we can uh, do on our own for example you have a freight charges okay mm -hmm. but as per the business requirement you have created a new freight that is some kind of um, some kind of delivery charges mm -hmm. you have kept in your pricing procedure and you are running your business but the business mm -hmm. one day they have asked you a report i want to uh, know the report in customized report whenever i 
give my plant or a certain date or things I want to know how much delivery charges as of now I have paid for this month okay to which vendor I have paid and also how much amount I have paid these all details if they need that is one report as a consultant if your business is asking can you provide me the report how much delivery charges the respect to uh, separate delivery charges or any delivery charges you have a condition type right maybe FRA1 or FRA2 whatever kind of thing if it is a customized you would have created a separate condition type they asked you that the separate delivery charges I want to know for last from last six months how much delivery charges we have paid to which vendor and all if it is a one time activity as a consultant you only can track that uh, complete details and you can prepare a report and give it to them but if the business is asking whenever I need I want to run the report and I, I want to see the report and yeah. obviously we have to go for customized report yeah. okay that's so, also you can tell you forget about entry tax you just fix for this uh, delivery charges you tell like or uh, they created uh, we have as per the business requirement we have created uh, one uh, can you open any PO uh, we have created one specific uh, delivery charges for that delivery charges a uh, business was asking the report how much they have maintained uh, every month how much they have paid these things they were asking then we can tell that that is also report Mm -hmm. So you can say like uh, we have created a Z, ZFD1 something uh, forward delivery charges hmm? mm -hmm. forwarding delivery charges they pay the delivery forwarding delivery charges for specific materials for specific vendors according to the business requirement okay they want to see the report whenever they want to run or uh, if they give the plant or some input they want to get the list of uh, delivery charges what is the PO number or uh, what is the delivery the charges we have paid for that PO who is the vendor okay. and obviously you have to prepare a customized report mm -hmm. mainly you have to go with the KONV and EKPO maybe MSEG these are four or five tables uh, which will play the role I have shared you uh, in that uh, list of uh, important tables if not I will share mm -hmm. again that reports you have to just uh, see that one and I also have shared that video how to fetch the data from a table mm -hmm. to uh, how to know what are the fields available in the table those details I have explained in that okay. you forget about the entry tax you just replace that entry tax with uh, this forwarding delivery charges okay hmm? Mm. and smart forms you can tell and this tab enhancements you, you can tell mm -hmm. mm. uh, you may not go with that what exactly the function module he has used otherwise what exactly the BAPI he has used okay you might not mm -hmm. be uh, what you call uh, go with that much technical thing because as you are a function consultant uh, your mm. work will be the mainly how you have uh, what you call communicated about the business requirement to the technical consultant mm -hmm. and uh, how mm -hmm. he has mm -hmm. developed and how much testing you have done mm 